What's up Video Fort Nation? This is Video Fort Ruan with another awesome Video Fort tutorial. So welcome to chapter 4 and this is where we're going to start the final project. And what we will be doing over the next two chapters is we're going to create a helicopter takeoff scene using PF Track and also 3ds Max and then we're going to composite everything together using After Effects. So before we start make sure that you download all the required project files. So if you look at the project files, you'll find uh, the footage, first of all, it's called final project underscore footage dot MOV. And then there's also a zip file uh, that's containing the helicopter model and some textures. And then there's also a folder with the image sequences for that uh, footage. You don't really have to download the image sequence because I'm going to show you later on how to actually create an image sequence from your footage. So, but if you want to, you can download it, then use this, or you can create your own uh, image sequence later on in this chapter. So first of all, we're going to look at PF Track, and we're going to start doing our camera tracking and all of that. So once you're in PF Track, you will see the screen, and I'm going to show you just how to create a new project in this video. So first of all, right at the bottom, make sure you're on the PRJ icon right at the bottom left, and this is where we're going to create our new project. So you can then click on the Create button. And it's going to ask you where do you want to save this project and also to name your project. We're just going to call it helicopter track and then also give it a path. So you can set this anywhere you like. So I've set this to my V uh, drive to introduction to VFX. And then I'm going to save it under a folder called PF track. Okay, then you don't really have to worry about all the other properties because the clip that we will import, it will actually take those settings from that clip. So to confirm all these settings, just click on the yellow confirm. All right, so next step, we need to find the footage that we are going to track. So if you've downloaded the project files, you're going to be looking for that MOV file. So I'm going to browse to my V drive and then introduction to VFX project files 4.1. Yours might be in a different location altogether. And then once you've browsed to your uh, video file, just drag that into this middle window and release. And then from here, we're going to drag it into our tree view on the left hand side. So just drag the video clip from there to here, release, and then that will be loaded into your project. So if you double click on this node, it will show you the properties of that node here at the bottom. And as you can see, we've got 200 frames from 1 to 200, which is correct. And everything else is fine. You don't have to change anything here. And um, that's basically how you import your footage into PF Track. So in the next video, we're going to go through the whole process of actually tracking the shot uh, using different nodes. And then we're also going to export that tracking data to 3ds Max. Also, remember to check out video4.com, your number one source for stock footage. I'll see you guys in the next video.